What is up, Keller Williams agents? It is me, Sam Jackson, Director of Innovation Technology for the Georgia Legacy Group and Keller Williams Maps Coach. And today I'm really excited to kind of share uh, part of a series that I'm calling Command Your Bold Experience, in which we take these ideas and concepts that we learn from bold and bold material and get it inside of command. And right now we're focusing on uh, week number two, step two of bold, in which we talk about or introduce to the DTD2 system, which is do the database two. And today I'm going to show you how to take these suggestions for calling people. And, uh, you know, it starts with like A and W and B and E and goes through the alphabet. I'm going to show you how to actually tag that inside of command so that you can use the system for lead generation and lead follow up inside of your database. So let's jump right into it. Once you're logged into command, we're going to jump straight over to your contacts. And uh, you'll see here that I have some fake contacts that we're going to use here for this test environment. Uh, just to make sure I'm in compliance with YouTube and their, their policies on, on contact information. I want to make sure that you can always uh, see this video when you need to. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to jump into the actual tagging system now for your contacts. So the first thing that we need to start with is moving my face out of the center of the screen. And the second thing we need to work with here is uh, organizing your contacts alphabetically. And to do this, I'm going to click on the word name. So you can see my mouse over here on this first column, which is name. I'm going to click on this. And this is going to give me the option to sort by first and last name A to Z or Z to A. Now, I've heard several different ways of doing this, but my understanding of the way that I've been taught the DTD2 method is that the alphabet pairs are based on last name. So I'm going to do mine uh, last name A to Z is how I'm going to sort mine. And when I do that, you're going to see that my, my contacts now align with Roy Anderson and finishing up with... David Wallace going through there. So now that I have them sorted that way, what I'm going to do is start tagging them uh, with the DTD2 tags. Now I'm looking at this off screen and looking at my schedule and calendar for the DTD2 system. Uh, make sure that you're tagging it appropriately with the, uh, the right connections. But uh, as you can see, I've been working. I have a few of them tagged already, my A's and W's, my B's and E's. Uh, but now I'm working on my Jim Halpert's and my Aaron Hannon's, my Ryan Howard's, my Stanley Hudson's, a lot of H characters from the Office cast. Um, but I'm going to select those people. As you saw that I selected these five people. And when I do that, there's going to be this option here to do a select bulk action. I'm going to click bulk action. And the third option down is add tag. So I'm going to do this and I'm going to type in the DTD2 pair tag, which is H and V. Now, one of the things that I, I didn't pay attention to, I'm gonna just hit the X and go back, is I wanna make sure that I have all of my H's selected, but I also wanna look through here and see if I have my V's. And it looks like I have Phyllis Vance, so I can select her. Uh, I can also scroll through and just make sure that I have anyone else. So in this instance, I'm going to use my H's and my V's. And now I'm going to do that select bulk action add tag now that I have everybody selected and I'm going to type in my tag. So if I'm starting from scratch, I'm going to H and V. This is not a tag that I currently have inside of my database. So I see that I'm greeted here with this button that says create tag. Now you may have a preference for what you do color coding wise. Uh, for me, all of my DTD2 tags are all tagged purple because I learned this process from bold and bold to me is very purple. So I'm going to select that do create tag, and then I'm gonna hit submit. And then now I can see, after I refresh my screen, that uh, my people, if I sort by last name, now all have the H and V tag. So now I have all of my people alphabetically been kind of working away at this. I can see now that my next tag, my next person is Kelly Kapoor. Uh, that begins with a K, so I can start looking at that. I'm also going to reference my um, my bold book here, and it tells me that K is C and K inside the DTD2 pair. So I'm just going to scroll up, make sure I don't have any C last names. Looks like I'm good. Don't have any other Ks. Uh, so I'm going to look at Kelly Kapoor. I'm going to do the bulk action button. Again, follow, following the same process of adding a tag. And this is a tag I have in my database. So if you've done this in the past with maybe no success, you want to try again, 
some of your tags will still be hanging around. So C and K does exist. And you will notice that I cannot recreate this tag um, if it already exists. I'd have to go into my settings and clear that out uh, to, to change the color code or something like that if you choose to. But C and K exist. I'm going to hit submit. And now I have all the way up through my Ks. I hit refresh. And that tag will now appear for Kelly Kapoor. If I look through there, yep, very good. So this is the process. It can be a little tedious to go through this. You are, in theory, adding 13 different tags because we have 26 pairs, or excuse me, we have 13 pairs, 26 letters. Uh, so you're gonna be creating 13 tags. It can be a little tedious to get through this. However, what you're really doing is setting yourself up for, for success that whenever you're using the DTD2 method, you now have a system in place that I can easily, at any given time, pull my H and V tag click on that and have a short list of people that I know that I need to contact this week that will help me stay on track to reach my goals of hitting 100 contacts per week for the bird, uh, for the bold uh, rules and, uh, and assignments. So hopefully this video is very helpful for you. Hopefully you found it easy to navigate through command. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, please, I would love a thumbs up on uh, the video, no matter where you're viewing it, I would love a comment. And if you can't subscribe as we're going to, um, throughout this process, add more material to the bold experience so that you can be in command of your bold experience. Uh, thanks and much love. And as always stay in command. See ya.